Well, here we are folks, gift giving season, and we're gonna hit gifts that fall under the $60 price point, just to help you out when either you're scratching your head and you're like, man, I don't know what to gift somebody, and I got about $60 to spend, or if people are asking you, hey, what do you got? What are some gift ideas? Maybe you, this will help you decide, oh yeah, I forget and I forgot, that's exactly what I need this year. Um, these are some great gift ideas that will fall under the $60 price point. We will have links in the description below for you over to Blade HQ, Amazon, uh, backcountry.com, and Knock Around Sunglass Company. When you guys use all those hyperlinks, really helps us out, continue to make content just like this week in, week out, and pours fuel in the gas tank of Gideon's Tactical so that we can continue to make the videos that you see here week in, and week out. So thank you for using the hyperlinks. Hope this list of gift ideas helps you out when you're wanting to bless somebody this holiday season. All right, first up, we're going to jump right into illumination. You want to illuminate somebody's life. These are three items, each one of them falling under $60, uh, that I can recommend to you. And they're all made by Streamlight. And there's nothing special about Streamlight. I have reviewed flashlights from Phoenix and Olight and Nightcore and everywhere in between. But I was really thinking of three layers to be able to hook somebody up with and bless them. And I figured that these would really help you out when you're picking out your gifts. So the first one is the Streamlight USB rechargeable micro stream. We recently did a video on this, 250 lumens. It's USB rechargeable, so you never have to burn batteries. We'll run you between about $35 and $40. The black version has the low setting first, and then you double click it, and it'll go to the high setting. The Coyote Tan version, which is usually a little bit more expensive, has you click the button, it goes to 250 lumens, then you double click it, and it drops down to 50 lumens. Both options are fantastic, just kind of depends on what you're looking for and what uh, options you prefer, the person that you're gifting it to would prefer. Uh, and it's, it's a fantastic flashlight i literally have it on me and i went i just got home from work i'm making this video there it is and i got the coyote tan version love it so uh that is a great edc you know pocket friendly option the next up is the polytax series from streamlight these are great not only as weapon lights to attach to shotguns and long guns because they are designed to fit in most um universal mounts you know that you would purchase for those but also just as an everyday carry flashlight as well they run off of two cr123 batteries or you can get the upgrade version that will have a higher lumen um, uh, uh, rate and it will run off of either CR123 or 14650 I believe is the um, battery uh, batteries as well and I think it, those have over 600 or about 600 lumens whereas the original has about uh, 275 lumens, three different settings, nice pocket clip, really well-built polymer designs, and uh, are fantastic for kind of that mid-size, either tactical light to attach to long guns, or just everyday carry light if you're looking for something that's a little bit bigger that has a nice, good punch. And then finally, for a lantern, the Streamlight Siege is amazing. I love this. They have several different battery sizes and types, so it just depends on the battery type you like and the lumen amount that you're looking for, but I have their AAA powered or excuse me, AA powered version, which is awesome. I love it. Water resistant. It actually will float, which is fantastic. Has emergency beacon settings, has a lot of different options and is great for around the campsite when you're car camping and hanging out and having a good time or in emergency situations if the power were to go out. So the Siege Lantern from Streamlight is also a great option. Next up is the SP or Spec Ops series from Ontario Knife Company. Now these are USA made knives. They're usually made out of either 5160 or 1095 steel, both great, um, really tough, durable steels. And in recent years, uh, I've seen Ontario do a better job, not only with their sheath options, but with their grind angles so that they come sharper and better equipped out of the box. And particularly two of my favorites that will fall under $60 is either the SP-10 Raider Bowie this thing is a monster great buoy knife can chop baton and it's fine edged enough that it can carve and whittle and it is a great do everything knife that sometimes you can find for $40 that's how much I paid for it when I bought it but uh, will usually fluctuate between 50 and 60 uh, or the sp8 machete this thing is ridiculous it's a pry bar with an edge and this thing can not only delim and split and baton but can do a lot of other hard 
you know, apocalyptic, if you will, task. But this uh, Spec Plus series, there's a ton of different blades. I've reviewed many of them and been pleased with each one of them. So it just depends really on the size and price range that you're looking for. But these are great kind of do everything, all purpose utility knives that are made in the US and are very functional. Next up is the MSR Pocket Rocket 2.0. If somebody does not have a good pod fuel-based system for boiling water and cooking food in the backcountry, this is a phenomenal product. It's so compact, so lightweight. We'll run you about $45. I know that backcountry, when I'm making this video, has a 20% off going on right now, any one full-priced item. So you can check out those backcountry links that we have in the description below as well. Uh, but for $45 is the normal going rate for it. You're getting an amazing product, and it's great for backpack ultralight hikers, uh, campers, regardless of what you're doing, if you're into the outdoors and you know that this person likes to make coffee, cook food, boil water, and they need that and they don't have a good um, stove that is portable at the moment, this is a phenomenal product. We had the original for years. Now this 2.0 is even smaller and more lightweight and it works just as well. So in this video, we are talking a lot about gear, but what if you want to give a gift that carries gear? You want to give a backpack. There are plenty of backpacks out there, but very few that you can find for around the $60 price point that are worth spending that money on. And I love the Approach 25 from Mountain Smith. My family has used this pack for almost two years now, and it is a phenomenal, basically jack of all trades pack. It's made out of 600 denier Cordura fabric, so very heavy duty. Uh, 25 liters, so it's a good day pack size. It can be a crossover. We used it for uh, the family diaper bag for about a year before we transitioned to a slightly bigger Mountain Smith bag. Um, it has the ability to carry bladders, carry all the gear you would need for a really good solid day hike, or a great crossover bag to carry to the office to bike ride with. For those who are into bike riding and mountain biking, it has compression straps that can cinch down really tight. It's just really built well, and they even have female designed versions as well. Now, my wife used the unisex version, basically, um, and she didn't have any problem with it. She loved it. Again, it was her diaper bag day in, day out for quite a while, uh, but it has uh, proved itself not only in the backcountry, but around town for my family, and it can be found for $60. Sometimes it'll go between like $60 and $80, but right now uh, I know backcountry's got a 20% off, uh, so there's a link in the description below for that uh, through the month of November. Uh, I saw when I was filming this, it was $62 on Amazon. Prices vary, fluctuate, but you can hunt around and you will probably be able to find one of these for around the $60 price point. And it's a phenomenal do everything backpack that won't break the budget. Next up, we have two types of multi-tools that will fall under the $60 price point that I swear by. The first one is the Rebar from Leatherman. I love this multi-tool. It's a mid-weight multi-tool, meaning that it will handle medium tasks. It's not ginormous, which is also a bonus. So it's more capable to be carried on your belt or in your pocket if need be. Great for survival kits. Has a plethora of tools from wood saws to uh, straight blade knives, to awls, to Phillips heads, screwdrivers and flat heads, can openers, and nice replaceable teeth on the wire cutters. These things are awesome. They'll usually go between 50 and $60. There's lots of different color combinations, black and um, uh, satin there's different types of pouches that you can purchase and they're just really well built i have about three of them in my collection and i use them not only when i go out hiking but also in my everyday carry scenarios and sit situations so this is a phenomenal tool to give people who are looking for a multi-tool or maybe you think that they don't have one and that, that they could use it in their daily living it will do a lot of work for you and isn't going to break the bank and it's going to cost you about 50 to $60 with a USA made product and Leatherman has a fantastic 25 year warranty as well. Now on the flip side, for somebody either that it ha it has an age limit that you know that you're concerned about giving them a knife, maybe it's a, a 
child or somebody in grade school or junior high that maybe isn't quite there yet, or maybe they just live in or work in an environment that doesn't allow for edged tools to be regularly carried. Maybe they're a traveler, they travel a lot, they do a lot of flying back and forth. The um, Gerber MMP 600 Bladeless is an awesome option, usually about $45. This multi-tool is also USA made. Gerber has a great warranty as well. This has replaceable teeth for the wire cutters, has a lot of tools that you would need in your everyday living. It's actually one-handed deployable as well. So you can deploy the, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The pliers and the wire cutters with one hand, which is awesome. Uh, and it does come with a kind of grit saw that is completely removable. You can pop it out when you're traveling or you go to an area that does not allow for uh, edged tools. Uh, and I have traveled, I've flown with this, I've gone on cruises with this tool. It does give you a little pair of scissors, so you will be able to cut some minor things. But it has a lot of different tools and has a lot of different capabilities, and it hits a good price point as well. So this is a great option. I actually just gifted it to a high school student who I know can't carry an edge tool around very, very uh, effectively at high school and just with his work and different things like that. So I bless him with this, knowing that he'll get a lot of use out of it and not have to worry about the blade. So uh, this is a great option for those people who you might be a little concerned about giving a knife to because of their environment or their age. So let's talk water here for just a second, particularly water purification. I love Sawyer products. They're, they have an amazing performance to value capability. And so the ones that I can recommend to you particularly are the full size kit. Uh, and this will come with their full size, I believe it's a million gallon, gallons of uh, purified water that it can do. So this is great for hiking, backpacking, camping, uh, emergency situations, those type of things. Uh, it will come with several different bags and most of them will come with a flow um, bag and drip system so that you can hang and use it as a gravity system for your filtering. We tested it out on a recent backpacking trip and it was phenomenal and has literally changed the way that we filter water when we're in the backcountry hiking and camping. So uh, that is a great system, usually about $40 to $50. You can also get their water bottle, which is an amazing setup. It gets a filter that I believe will do the same. Uh, I believe it's a hundred or a million gallons of water, if I remember correctly. Uh, and the bottle is great for just scooping up in a lake. It's great for day hikes, particularly, or when you're on the go a lot and you're in areas where you need that water quick. You don't want to spend time getting in a bag and squeezing and doing all that type of stuff. This is a great way as well. Those will run you about $30 to $35, we swear by by both of them, they're awesome. And then if you just need to go with a cheap, very uh, compact option, they do have their mini, which I believe will do 100,000 gallons of water. And that one uh, will run you about $20 and is very compact, great for little survival kits and those type of things. So Sawyer products in general, we swear by them, we use them all the time in the backcountry, and they are awesome. And along with that, my recently tested and now loved Source water bladders are awesome. These are Israeli made water bladders that have actual contracts with several militaries around the world, which is pretty sweet. And uh, they're designed in such a way that they have a double layer system to help against leakage. I haven't had any sort of leaking with the several now that I've tested of different designs. I particularly love their WXP, I believe model, which uh, has an insulated covering over the hose, has a hose um, nozzle nipple cover uh, to protect the nipple from just getting, you know, dirty and the you know valves and different things like that lockout valves quick release hose uh, and several other capabilities and features and it's not going to going to cost you an arm and a leg they usually go between 30 and 40 dollars depending on what option you desire and they have lots of other options and capabilities out there i'm currently testing one that has two bladders in one so you could do something that has electrolytes like gatorade in one side of the bladder and then keep your water completely separate and not contaminate them and we'll come with two separate hoses as well. So lots of really cool features, very innovative. And now currently my favorite go-to bladder system when I'm looking to get a water bladder for my backpack. All right, next up, these two tools really rock and they are great outdoor tools. The first one is the Ichiban 13 inch saw, pruning saw. This thing is awesome. It is a machine. It has outperformed several of my bow saws as well as other tools that I have used. And it's going to give you a lot of capability. So if you're looking for something that's rather lightweight, it is a fixed saw with a sheath. So it's not quite as compact as some foldable saws out there. But I think it's a great 
value to performance. Now you can go out there and spend more money, like $70, $80 on other more name brand saws, but I've seen great success with this design and it's gonna cost you about $40 and they are made in Japan. So that's a, a great bonus. It's a pull cut type of saw and I mean, it is, it's just a machine. Yeah, snap diglets, dude. What is that, 30 seconds faster? Wow. Oh. If you do a lot of wood processing or you're gifting it to somebody who you know does a lot of wood processing and they do a lot of camping and they do a lot of you know bonfires and you know hanging around the fire a lot and so that, like wood and cut sawing wood in, in a man portable scenario is something that you think that would connect with them i love the itchy bond it's a it's an amazing amazing tool and uh, every time i bust it out and give it to friends and family they see the performance to price level and they are very impressed and i've been using Using this one now for about a year without any sort of issues or problems. And there's nothing like a classic, the S-Wing compact hatchet. Now, I was really skeptical, to be honest, when I originally did the review on this because I put it head-to-head -head against about $120 Swedish-made drop forge wood-handled uh, hatchet. And surprisingly, for that size of tool, the S-Wing outperformed it because it has a thinner, finer head and it just really, really works. So for about 35 to $45, and these are obviously are over on the Amazon um, links that we offer to you, but in a pinch, you can run over to a lot of hardware stores and they will have this leather stacked hatchet that I swear by. For the price, I have yet to find something that can compete with the edge retention, the weight class, and the performance, and it's just a classic. It's like a buck 110 or 112. I mean, it's it, with the leather stacking, it's been around forever. They're USA made, uh, drop forge, 50 or 1055 steel that holds a decent edge. It's very easy to get an edge back on it and really performed well. I was very happy with its performance and outperformed a uh, hatchet that was over $100 more and made in Sweden. Okay, last up, we're gonna hit pocket knives here. You have a little bit more money to spend than maybe $20, $30, and you're looking for a couple good pocket knives to gift to somebody. Well, I would definitely look at all of Steel Will's budget-friendly pocket knives. They have their um, Intrigue, full size and small. They have the um, steel wheel cut jack, full size and small, and they have the Modus. All of these are gonna be D2 steel. All of these are lightweight polymers that are liner locks with ambidextrous pocket clips and are all flipper designed. So they're great for righties or lefties. So you don't have to wonder, is my, this person I'm purchasing right-handed or left-handed? What do they prefer? How do they prefer to carry it? There's lots of different color combinations, lots of different options, D2 steel. Uh, and for about $40 on average is what you're gonna see most of these go for over on Blade HQ or Amazon. They're a great gift item to bless people with because they have a feeling of premium without breaking the bank and having to pay premium prices. It's gonna hold a good edge and they work really well. And again, they have lots of different uh, shapes and sizes. So it, it kind of works with the colors as well as the designs to fit the, the personality of the person that you may be gifting the blade away to. Then if you want to go a little bit more high-end uh, and USA made, the Kershaw Blur is just, I mean, one of the best pocket knives, in my opinion, uh, ever made. It is open assisted. It is going to have every different blade shape under the sun from a black coated to satin finish to tanto to serrated to non serrated. I mean, the, the options are endless out there. They have endless options in steels as well from the US um, made versions. Uh, they have Sandvik steels, they have S30V steels, they have premium, I think, uh, what's it called? Uh, <clears throat> LMAX steel, I think there's some M390s maybe out there. I don't know, there's so many versions, so many color combinations. You can often find them at Walmart. So again, they're great pinch items. If you're like, man, I, I wanna give something really good, but I'm not sure uh, if this person's gonna like it, you know, and I forgot to get them a gift or you know, whatever it is. Uh, it's a great option. There's so many color combinations. Again, we'll have a bunch of the links below. The only downside is it's righty only. The pocket clip is tip up, tip down, but they have no attachments for left-handed people. So uh, make sure in this case that you know that the person is right-handed. Otherwise, they may be a little disappointment, disappointed in how the knife operates if they're left-handed. But man, the Kershaw Blur is a fantastic knife, and I think everybody should own one. And finally, 
finally, we've talked about a lot of edged tools today. What if you know that everyone's got basically enough edged tools, but they don't really have any way to sharpen them and they're always got their knives dulled, chipped, and damaged, and you know, you want to bless them in that way. Uh, the WorkSharp Field Sharpener is a phenomenal tool. I have about four of them in my collection, use them regularly. These things are fantastic and can tune up everything and even reprofile from the hatchets that we've talked about today to the large fixed blades that we've talked about today and the pocket knives and everything in between. They can work for arrows if someone's into archery, uh, they can resharpen fishing hooks if they're into fishing, and it's just a fantastic compact tool that can be used to resharpen uh, kitchenware and everything in between. So I swear by this uh, sharpener, it's one of the best sharpeners I have ever laid my hands on and is compact as well. So grit is great for camping, um, uh, people who go up hiking, get people who do fly fishing and they go off trail to go do that, whatever, however, this is a great way to put an edge back on almost any edge tool in existence. So there you have it, folks. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. It's been informative, encouraging, and just pointing you in the right direction. Again, really appreciate you using all those hyperlinks that we're offering to you below to knock around sunglass company, um, Blade HQ, to Backcountry, many of these items you can find in Backcountry. And again, when I'm filming this, they do have a 20% off. I don't know how long that will last. Just go on over to their website. And then of course, Amazon, all links below, helps us continue to do what we do. So thank you so much. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook. I invite you to subscribe if you're not a current subscriber. We're throwing up videos like this, and reviews and content every single week. And finally guys, always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.